Hi everyone. Uh, color touch removal is a tricky thing, uh, particularly if it's if it's hard to spot and it's minor. The, the easiest way to deal with it is simply to just cut it out of the book. Uh, the easiest way to cut it out of the book is with a laser cutter. And the way you do that is you just scan an image of the book and you go in and you trace. And I use Adobe Illustrator. You trace a drawing over the parts that are colored. You uh, tape that, you know, to a, um, or put some weights and put it on a piece of acrylic and you cut it out with a laser and it cuts those parts out and then you reassemble the book and you're done. It's pretty ugly and nasty. And I'm going to show that at some point in the future here. I finally got my laser, but it's not connected yet. I've been too overly occupied to hook it up, but I'll show you. And um, you can also do the same thing with an exacto knife. There's nothing magic about a laser, it's just that you get to remove much less material and you have much finer control over or where it goes um, and that's it but this case in this case today I'm going to show you a couple spots where somebody wants some color removed I'm going to call it color touch one's a purple ink that was meant to fill in uh, some purple bear spot on Fantastic Four 25 and then there's also Fantastic Four 67 which isn't I mean neither of these would qualify as like professional color touch it's just somebody writing on a book and someone filling in something with black ink and just how to remove that with just in the case these cases I just use a Clean and um, in one case I just use a Macu Solve which is just uh, toluene and um, MEK and um, a couple of uh, surfactants so um, anyway I hope this is a fun video for you to watch and that you get something out of it and we'll do the laser cutting out one later it's not a pretty sight to see a book get hacked up by the laser at rapid speed but it is a little bit fun uh, I mean, it's not uh, not good for the heart, but it can be stimulating. How about that? All right. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye. So here we go. We're going to try to remove some of this uh, color touch on this Fantastic Four. We are going to start by using you know the least polar solvents first. That's going to be the, in our case, what's going to be the you clean and sure enough you can see this purple coming right up here and yeah that's I mean this isn't gonna be much of a video because that's taking it all up right here I don't know if you can um, see this on the camera but it's coming up pretty easily so I'm just gonna take this you know this Mackie clean I just push it down a little in my little pump bottle and, you know, it might take a while to get all of it, but it's going to come up because it's clearly soluble in it. And I'll just do that a few times, and I'm pretty sure that's going to do the trick. Yeah, so that'll take me a while, but... I will do this for a lot, of, a lot of times and then show you the results. So here we are. I mean, and before I get too proud of myself, this isn't that hard of a, of a task. This is essentially just washing the comic book with a Mackie clean, but there you go. I mean, it looks, there's a little bit of like purple ink I can probably get off, but my experience, they won't count that as color touch in that area because you're not cruelly trying to hide anything that's really bad. I'm looking up here for any like lost glimpses of color touch which i'm probably not going to see that easily there so i'll turn on my my uv light and that'll sort of uh reveal anything that uh you know i'm maybe missing with my naked eye too easily and so we'll take a look here and um you know i don't really see anything this the purple really I and mean, you can see where the purple was a little bit on that spot but on the spine here i don't see it so yeah they colored in that um this area and that's about it so that's the easiest level that's just this is just your water soluble immaculate clean cleaning you know and not water soluble it's like soap soluble so it looks you know better and that color touch is, is removed this material up here is just sort of lost lost color it's not um touch so i think this one will pass this color touch you know the other ways that they really do this is they if you have this professionally done, they'll like literally cut the color touch parts out of a book, and I can do that. I will do that with a laser and show you guys how that's done. 
you can kind of take a picture of it and in Adobe Illustrator will trace out the spots and have a laser cut just those color touch parts out. And the next level I will do some ink, some heavier ink that is, um, we have to use uh, stronger solvents to remove. And this guy is going to be, you know, this is more of a challenge. We have some, appears to be 1960s ballpoint pen ink here. The cover's, you know, really dirty anyway. Um, and we've got some, more, what appears to be marker or pen there. And it's, you know, similar sort of story to the other books. This one's got gouge on the back cover here. Um, there's some ink there. You know, we're probably not going to get all that off, but we will we'll give it a shot and see what we do. All right, so we're going to baby step this. So we're going to see what we can get by just, you know, mechanically trying to get this off here. I, I just warmed up the book to 150 degrees. Nothing. Okay, that's not coming up. Something a little higher surface area. Nothing. Okay, that's good. There's little chance this is coming up, but I got to check, right? So then we're going to go straight to immaculate clean again, and I don't have high hopes for this, but we'll see how this works. And I'm hoping this doesn't work, so this is a better video. Hopefully this doesn't take anything off. Well, immaculate clean is working somewhat. Wow, it's actually doing okay. So notice that instead of rubbing it back and forth, which is the death knell, you make the smear bigger and you also rub a hole in your paper. I'm just kind of rolling this back and forth. And a little bit's coming up. It's not a lot, which is better for us this way. And while it's coming up, dang, Mackie Clean's doing the trick on that too. Um, well, I was hoping this would not be solvable with Mackie Clean, but it looks like it is. Um... It means it's soluble in a non-polar uh, surfactant here. Let's see if we can pull that up. Oh man, my wife's making pork chops. I can smell them. Well, that's coming off. Well, let's see how we do. And again, if I were to rub, be rubbing this, it would be a problem. And this is probably going to take a few times to get that off of there. But uh, just going to kind of roll this. Well, it's coming off. Well, I, and I think you get it now. It's not like I need to belabor the point, but it's coming uh, a little bit at a time. It's coming up. So it starts to soak through a little. So I'm putting my tick attack board under here to kind of protect the inner pages just from just out of a sake of caution. And it's wet enough now that it's weak. And remember folks, say it with me, wet paper is, you got it, weak paper. Very good class. So we're gonna let that sit and dry and then we're gonna do it again. Uh, I can see the little 12 cent mark here coming through. Um, I am going to let it dry and then approach it again. We'll do these other colors. Well, I, don't, I strongly suspect they're not gonna come up. I'll have this Immacusolve here if I want to do that. I don't think these are coming up. Those to me look like 60s ballpoint pen and that's there's low probability of getting those to come up with ImmacuClean, but maybe. No, it's not coming up. Those may, we might have to live with those. And I don't, I mean, I can probably, oh, Jesus, it's coming off, actually. <laughs> Never mind, I spoke too soon. And Mackie Clean's taken that off of there pretty well, actually. So, um, again, we're going to go ahead and roll it. And, oh, my family's calling me for dinner. I will, geez, that's coming off of there. Good job, Rick. Well, man, look at that. I really, I surprised myself. Um, again, this is a game of inches and not miles, so... I'm going to let this dry and come back and get it again. It looks like that stuff's going to take it off of there. So, you know, who knows what kind of luck I'll have. Maybe partially, maybe all the way. I'm kind of anxious to take this cover off and get it clean. So we'll see what happens. But, man, looks pretty good so far. I mean, we have reasonable chance of getting most of it off of there. Um, I'll come back. We'll try again.
All right, let's see how this is going here. We're gonna keep going with the Mackie Clean as long as it works, right? So I don't really have a strong incentive to use something else, although I think we're gonna overclean this area a little bit and we'll end up making it look really white, but it's okay. We'll come back and clean the whole book. Let that sort of sit in there for a minute. <clears throat> I get it wet and then we'll come back and roll a swab there you can see wow that came right up I don't want to spread this too much so although it generally doesn't come back out of the swab I don't want to risk it too much you know I can see that this is going to work because if you look at this uh see a lot of blue on there <clears throat> It looks like it's just going to be about, you know, a lot of applications, several dozen applications of this. It will, it will come out of here probably. So we'll just keep trying to macu clean. It's not going to be fast, folks. <laughs> it's not. Maybe I just maybe I got all that's coming off. No, it's there's definitely more coming. It's just not coming in a hurry. And once it gets this wet, like you can and you can tell what this wet means as you can see the ink on the inside of the book coming off, then it's time to stop. That's when you, that's when you're done with that part and you just let it dry and you just do it again because you need it to be strong. So there's that. And we removed a lot of that part over this and we're just gonna let it sit and dry. And you're gonna see me do this like I'm guessing right now a dozen, two dozen times maybe? I don't know. I guess that wasn't on there the whole time I'm doing this part and then I'm gonna do this little section over here. Let's fill a little bit. We'll let this stuff soak for a moment and then try just to try it out. This is the Immacusolve, which is like a Macu Clean, but it's more polar and it's not aqueous. So let's see what a Mackie solve does here. We'll get that off. Yeah, it's cleaning it. Is it super clean? No, but it's cleaner than it was. And it's just going to take a while. It might be several days of this. In fact, But it's coming up, so it will make a little mark where it's cleaner here, which is no picnic, but we will clean the whole book afterwards. Again, I'm rolling and not rubbing. Yeah, I'll probably eventually get all of this up. And I'm sure you don't want to watch that. <clears throat> Maybe I'll scan past a lot of this in a faster way so you can well, that's really pulling that up yeah that's working pretty good and we're really gonna have to clean this whole cover uniformly when i'm done getting this ink off of here but we'll just do what we can. The sink is common. All right, no more of that for now. I'm gonna let let that sit, and then we'll. Oops, sorry, I wasn't on the screen there. We'll let that sit, and then we'll <clears throat> we'll try again. Well, it'll be several days, I'm sure, before this is done. So you can see here that it isn't, you know, completely removed. This I would call this, you know, what you would represent as color touch and this is just some ink on the cover and it didn't come off completely and it will it will if we keep doing what we've been doing for a long time and you can see how it's cleaner here around this area versus the area around so we didn't get all of it off it could if we wanted to spend our whole lives cleaning this book we could get that off but we were lucky because it's on white you know it's a lot harder when it's a dark color on a dark color and sometimes for that you have to resort, resort to cutting that part off in, in the case you might want to use a laser cutter to do that. I'll save that for a future update, but that's just, um, you know, it's kind of the more of the same. I just 
have to do the back here and clean this off. I mean, this book is obviously low grade anyway, but you know, we, uh, we made some headway. The book has better, I think better color appeal because better uh, curb appeal because you don't instantly look at these other parts that might be missing and um, we'll press it and clean it some more and we'll, it'll end up looking okay when we're done. Um, that's all for now. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll get some books with some genuine color touch in the future and we'll do more lessons on that. This is the, sort of the easy, like low hanging fruit color touch. I just don't have a lot of color touch books on me right now. Maybe I'll artificially touch some and then try to get it off and sort of simulate it. Um, also that I should mention that FF 67 book, the second one I did wipe it off with a Mac you clean, um, between the third and the fourth day I was cleaning, I guess. So at the very end it was, it had made me look cleaner because it was, I had just wiped. I couldn't help myself. I wiped the whole cover. Other thing was like, nasty look at these uh pads that came off of there they were really super gross uh dirt came off of that book so the whole thing looks a little better at the same time so it's it's it looks better i mean is it a grade better eh who knows um but it looks better and and it's also preserved more there's less acid in the paper and you know that's what we do that's why we're doing what we do so um anyway i hope you guys had fun uh as much fun watching it as i did uh doing it and uh take care i'll, I'll see you around Bye bye